Yo, what is up, YouTube? Fury here, bringing you guys a brand new video. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over a bunch of new updates that dropped in last night's patch. Now we got some hidden cosmetics. We got some new updates for the new battle star location because they did include a new battle location for that star. As well as that, we got the new FAMAS, some new updates around the map and stuff like that. I'm gonna be going over most of those in today's video. If you guys do enjoy, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications. And if you get first like on any of my videos videos make sure you send me a twitter image i hit you guys back with that follow and with that said let's get right into today's video if you guys are interested in winning some free v bucks we are currently giving away 6,000 v bucks to you guys all you got to do to enter is like the video subscribe if you aren't already and turn on those post notifications as well as follow the gleam link in the description down below there's going to be six winners a thousand v bucks each good luck to everyone first thing on the list here we have the new famas in the game now obviously it was on the loading screen when you opened up fortnite it did show you the new news items and the famas was coming to the game very soon but they ended up including it into the game in last night's update so the new famas comes in two different rarities we got the epic and legendary like i mentioned in the video talking about it now this can be found on the floor loot treasure chest supply drops and vending machines so you can find this thing basically everywhere like basically most weapons in the game you can find them basically everywhere now the epic version does 32 per bullet and the legendary does 33 nothing too crazy there different wise there i'm assuming um for the most change in between the epic and legendary is probably at range um damage at range and how long um each bullet fall off is so i'm assuming the legendary obviously does a little bit better at range than the epic does but as well as that they included apples into the game a little bit weird to think uh that, that they're gonna bring in apples but consuming an apple will grant five health up to a hundred so basically, as long as you keep finding apples, you can keep eating apples until you get to 100 health. Now, that's what it means up to 100. It doesn't max out at 75 or whatever it may, uh, you know, max out at. Um, but it does go up to 100. So you can eat these apples until you're fully healed up. And they can uncommonly be found around certain trees throughout the map. So it's going to be something that you can find on the ground next to certain trees. Uh, pretty cool idea. Definitely a cool um, concept or not really a concept. It's actually in the game. Pretty cool addition to the game. Something if you do really need some health and you can't really find bandages or a med kit you can go around trying to find an, uh, an apple tree basically and uh, consume up your health to 100 now another cool feature that they included in this update is an auto pickup feature for pc and consoles you can turn this on in the settings basically what it'll do is automatically pick up weapons and consumables when you walk over them basically like the ammo if you walk over ammo you know it gets automatically put up into your inventory same thing happens if you do have an open spot in your inventory uh, for weapons or consumables you can basically just walk over them and it'll just take up the next available spot in your uh, you know in your inventory i definitely think this is a pretty cool feature especially if you are in a very you know situation where you gotta hurry up um definitely pretty cool you just walk over whatever whoever you killed and it'll pick up basically everything you need um to fill up your inventory and then of course if you don't want that item you just drop it pick up the next item in line um so i definitely think it's a good option i probably will end up turning this on once i do hop on but definitely a cool idea you know a cool option for us to be able to choose that if we'd like for those of you that did not know they do update the game weekly so every week it comes a new update but with that in season four they are doing weekly updated locations so basically each week they'll pick a location and basically fix it up do construction on that area like last week i mentioned that they did add that dance floor in the um, factory area they also added the uh, underground bunker basically as well as added a few more things to dusty divot but this week they ended up fixing up tilted tower a little bit they basically put back a wall on the uh, Trump Tower they also basically fixed up the meteor hole they're basically doing a bunch of different construction areas um, construction fixes to tilted towers they have a few dump trucks basically um, just going back and forth between the town and out of the town basically on the street you'll basically find the um, pop rocks and stuff like that in those trucks like they're basically taking it away from there so it's a pretty cool feature a pretty cool addition there they're fixing up tilted towers I'm assuming um, by the end of this season, Tilted Towers are going to be fully repaired, as well as most locations. Now, I'm not completely sure about Dusty Divot because that is such a big hole. Um, I doubt they're going to be probably fixing that, but definitely a cool um, feature, definitely a cool addition that they're doing each week for Season 4. 
Also, if you guys have not seen, they added a new challenge for the week three challenges. It's basically revive five players, I believe, as well as that you basically if once you complete all those weekly challenges, there is a location for a new battle star. I will put on screen where you can find this battle star. Now you must complete all the week three challenges before this battle star will appear. So if you don't have those complete, I definitely recommend going to do those challenges and then you can go to this location, get another free tier on your battle pass. Uh, pretty cool addition there. I'm assuming they did that because they uh, delayed laid the update yesterday but uh definitely if you do complete all week three challenges go over here grab this battle star and uh, get that free tier and last but not least we have all these hidden uh you know cosmetics coming to the game very soon probably in the upcoming weeks once they do get a name for these things because there are as of right now we don't have the rarities or the names for these hidden skins but i will be going over them i will be showing you guys them on screen just so you get an idea of what we're you know what you're going to expect in the upcoming weeks now the first two skins here on screen do look like some sort of hazmat suits for the male and female character as well as that they might look like scuba divers as well it depends which uh, you know scene you put them in but they are two new skins i definitely think i'm be picking up the male version of this one uh definitely looks a little bit better in my opinion just the different you know the gray color on him and stuff like that but definitely two cool skins there now I, like i said we don't know the rarities to these skins but i'm assuming those are probably going to be epics i don't see those being as legendary if any of these are legendary i'm not completely sure but um, those are two skins coming very soon next skin here we have some sort of i'm assuming superhero type skin um now this is like basically the first superhero type skin that we're getting to be able to purchase most of the other ones that have been in this battle pass are from the battle pass so you can't really just buy those skins um, unless you do purchase the tiers to unlock say omega or whatever but this is like the first basic superhero type looking skin in the game that's possibly going to be coming um to the game very shortly now as well as that we have a you know some sort of deep sea creature mixed with a mermaid uh, so like a mermaid man type uh, skin definitely pretty cool it, it kind of reminds me of the previous skin that they dropped with the fish head uh, fishbowl head um, something along those lines some sort of alien type creature there um, obviously mixed with uh, I guess some sort of deep sea creature I'm not completely sure definitely an interesting skin there not something I'm really interested in but um, that is coming very soon and the last skin here that was leaked is some sort of war paint guy he has some war paint on him um, with some uh, you know an ammo belt on him and nothing too crazy here I don't see this skin being over an epic um, probably gonna be uncommon if I had to choose maybe common uh, nothing too crazy there for that skin but uh, that one should be coming soon now as well as that we do you have four new pickaxes that should be coming the first one will be the uh, camera basically you know each area in the map has a camera set or a studio set type uh, movie set type deal so this is probably going to be coming shortly in this season just because of all the movie sets around the map that are scattered around and this week's uh, you know or last week's i should say is to dance in front of seven cameras so this really fits in with the uh, challenges as well now this next pickaxe here i don't really know what to call it or what it looks like but it definitely fits for the uh, superhero type character i definitely think that's for him um i'm not completely sure what else what other skin that would go with um it kind of looks like some sort of like spaceship type deal i'm not completely sure uh definitely a weird looking skin there now the next one that we have for the pickaxe is some sort of jackhammer i'm assuming this one's probably going to go for the hazmat suits um just because it fits probably uh really well with those and last but not least we do have a stop sign pickaxe definitely something we thought was going to be coming for a while now but they finally implemented it into the game and it's going to be basically like a destroyed stop sign on a pickaxe so i definitely think that one's going to be the one pickaxe that i do choose out of this set um, definitely going to be one that I do pick up next on the list we have two gliders here one for the hazmat suits just because it has a radioactive type symbol on top and then of course the next one for the superhero just because it has that same V on top of this one uh, as top on you know on top of this glider as it does on the character's chest and the last three back blings we have um, some sort of like air tanks kind of for the hazmat suits I'm assuming um, just because it, it fits really well with those ones for the male ones for the female character they kind of look like um, um, you know like some sort of water type guns um, but they are some sort of back bling for the hazmat characters but that'll basically do it for the cosmetic items in the game now as well as that we have four emotes we got bendy 
clapper pop dance and yeet not completely sure what these consist of i'm assuming clapper is for the movie sets uh the, because of the movie sets that are on the map um the other ones don't really know what they have in store for us but uh, i definitely think yeet might be one that i do pick up but that'll basically do it for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed we got a bunch of new stuff in the game the famas the apples these new hidden cosmetics coming to the game the battle star location a bunch of new stuff hopefully this video did help you out if it did drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new and i'll see you guys in the next video peace